Today we gather to herald with the whole church the beginning of the celebration of our Lord's Paschal Mystery. That is the sea of his passion and resurrection. For it was to accomplish this mystery that he entered his own city of Jerusalem. Therefore, with all faith and devotion, let us commemorate the Lord's entry into the city for our salvation, following his footsteps, so that being made by his grace, partakers of the cross, we may have a share also in his resurrection and his life. Let us pray. Increase the faith of those who place their hope in you, O God, and graciously hear the prayers of those who call on you, that we who today hold high these branches to hail Christ in his triumph, may bear fruit for you by good works accomplished in him, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And now we will come around and bless the branches. When his chat, when father was sleeping, because I couldn't get close enough for father. I tried, but I didn't get enough. According to Jesus proceeded on his journey up to Jerusalem. As he drew near to Bethphage and Bethany at the place called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples. He said, Go into the village opposite you. As you enter it, you will find a colt tethered on which no one has ever sat. Untie it and bring it here. And if anyone should ask you, why are you untying it? You will answer, the master has need of it. 
So those who had been sent went off, and they found everything, just as he had told them. And as they were untying the colt, its owner said to them, Why are you untying this colt? They answered, The master has need of it. So they brought it to Jesus. They threw their cloaks over the mount, over the colt, and led Jesus to mount. As he rode along, the people were spreading their cloaks on the road. of his disciples began to praise God aloud with joy for all the mighty deeds they had seen. They proclaimed, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to him, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. He said in reply, I tell you, if they keep silent, the stones will cry out. The Gospel of the Lord. Sisters and brothers, like the crowds who acclaim Jesus in Jerusalem, let us go forth in peace. Amen. So they want to serve us with leaders, and the music truck will come somewhere between the want to serve us and everyone at the middle point so everyone will be able to hear. Okay, so that's the attempt to.
Marcus is the one that is Take this. Connect up. Alright, I I I good. You
can rise, O oh Christ, and reign. Right on, Lord Jesus, I want to die. Right on, Lord Jesus, I want to die. I don't Anyone who wishes to sit in these front seats may come. Please fill in the front seats. There's more than enough space. We have lots of space in front. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who as an example of humility for the human race to follow, caused our Savior to take flesh and submit to the cross, graciously grant that we may heed his lesson of patient suffering, and so merit to share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Please be seated. A reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 50, verses 4 to 7. The Lord has given me a disciple's tongue so that I may know how to reply to the weary. He provides me with speech. Each morning, he wakes me to hear, to listen like a disciple. The Lord has opened my ear. For my part, I made no resistance. Neither did I turn away. I offered my back to those who struck me, my cheeks to those who tore at my bed. I did not cover my face against insult and spittle. The Lord comes to my help so that I am untouched by the insults. So too, I set my face like flint. I know I shall not be shamed. 